All right, I'm here to explain how to do corrections for the CFA Learning Target 6.3. I can use stoichiometry to calculate theoretical yield and percent yield in reactions. One of the things that is really important as you go through there is to show all your work. On the final or the summative, if you do not show all your work, even if you have the correct answer, you will not get credit. And label units throughout but especially at the end. The other thing that you will lose points for is if you do not use proper significant figures. So look at the measurements. So example, this has three significant figures in the problem. That means you need three significant figures in your answer. So the first problem, it says you begin with 1.50 moles of ethanol. So we begin with 1.50 moles of ethanol, C2H5OH. Now remember the first step is to have a balanced chemical equation, which we have that. The next step is to convert your given into moles. Well, we have that, so we've done the first two steps. Now it says we want the number of moles of water. So we actually get to go straight to our mole ratio we want the moles of ethanol to divide out. So I have moles of ethanol down here. And I want moles of water in my numerator because that's what I want. Notice the moles of ethanol are going to divide out. Now to find the mole ratio, I look at my balanced chemical equation. Water has a coefficient of 3 and ethanol has an understood coefficient of 1. So my mole ratio is 3 to 1. Now since I want moles of water and nothing else, this is only one step. My moles of ethanol divide out. I now have moles of water. Again, I need to have moles of water in my answer to get full credit. 1.50 times 3 is 4.5 I need to make sure I have zero. I have to have three units in my answer. This was worth two points, one point for having the mole ratio, one point for having the correct answer with units and significant figures. The next one that says calculate the number of moles of oxygen required to produce 6.0 moles of carbon dioxide. So 6.00 moles of carbon dioxide is my given now again, step one, have a balanced chemical equation. Step two, convert your given to moles. It's already in moles. Step three is use your mole ratio to find what you need. I want to know moles of oxygen, so my mole ratio is going to be moles of oxygen, which is what I want, divided by moles of CO2. Um, by the way, on the final exam or the summative, there might be times where it asks for moles of oxygen or something with oxygen. Remember, oxygen is always O2. All right. So my moles of CO2 in my balanced chemical equation, there's a 2. In my balanced chemical equation for oxygen, there's a 3. So I have my moles of CO2 can divide out. So now my answer is going to be moles of oxygen. I have 6 times 3 is 18 divided by 2 is 9. Now remember, I have to have three significant figures, so it's 9.00. Right. This was worth two points, one for the mole ratio, one for the answer. The next one says calculate the theoretical mass of carbon dioxide. That's what I want to find, mass of carbon dioxide, when I have 523 grams of ethanol combusted. So this is my given, 523 grams of ethanol, C2H5OH. Now I have again a balanced chemical equation. I have to convert grams to moles before I can do the mole ratio. And to find, to find that, I need to divide by the molar mass, because I need the grams of ethanol to divide out. So 
I'm dividing by the molar mass of ethanol. Now to find the molar mass of ethanol, I use the periodic table. I know it starts with C2, so that's 2 times 12.01. So I'll put that right here, 2 times 12.01, that's 24.02. I have six hydrogens, do you see that? So hydrogen is 1.01, .01. that's all right, and then I have one oxygen, and oxygen is 16.00, and so when I add those up, I get 8, 0, wait, sorry, I did that. 46.08. So the mass of ethanol is 46.08 grams per mole. So now my mol grams of ethanol divide out. I now have moles of ethanol. I want mass of carbon dioxide, so I have to use my mole ratio. I want moles of CO2 on the top because that's what I'm trying to find. I need moles of ethanol on the bottom because I'm trying to divide that out. My mole ratio of CO2 to ethanol, CO2 has a coefficient of two, and ethanol has a coefficient of that understood one. So now my moles of ethanol divide out. I now have moles of CO2. I need to know mass of CO2. And so my mass, I now need to have moles divide out, and I know that I can find the mass by taking one carbon, which is 12.01, and two oxygen, so that's two times 16, or 32. So I have 44.01 is my molar mass of carbon dioxide. This will give me, my moles of CO2 will divide out. I now have mass of carbon dioxide. That is my unit. And again, don't just say grams, you have to say grams of CO2, because again, we started with grams of ethanol. When I take my calculator and I multiply 523, I'll just go ahead and do that. 523 times two times 44.01. Now I'm going to divide that by 46.01. Oh, sorry, I did that wrong. 08. I get 999.0117. Now how many significant figures do I have in the problem? I have three. So I'm going to say 999. Again, you only want three significant figures. Okay? So there we're done with page one of the CFA.